Hello everyone and welcome to Lazy Architect. Today we are going to address the most important question that resonates around the name of this channel. What is security architecture? Security architecture is considered as the tip of the spearhead. It's a core function of security where any solution gets introduced within an organization. Doesn't matter whether it's procured from a third party or built in house. Security architect's job is to oversee the design, implementation, and evaluate the security posture of the solution. So where it gets started? Let's have a look at some of the magnificent creations of the mankind, like Taj Mahal, Burj Khalifa, pyramids. They all are the engineering and architecture marvels. Since they have been created, they have sustained many natural calamities. Do you really think they could have managed to survive if they had a flawed architecture? Exactly. I don't think so either. So let's go back to the basics of software development lifecycle, or also known as SDLC. I'm going to mention a very high level and a generic SDLC phases. So the very first thing gets in is the requirement gathering. Once the requirement has been successfully gathered, then the design is built. Then the architects hand over the design to the developers so that the code can be written. Once the code has been written successfully, then it is moved to the testing phase where the quality assurance happens. Then finally, the build is moved to the deployment, which is also known as ops and maintenance. Security architecture process ideally kicks in during the requirement gathering phase. It's very essential for an organization to develop a culture where security gets baked in rather than bolted on where security gets incorporated at a very initial phase of the discussion to ensure everything is understood properly. An architect knows the business requirement, makes informed decision in recommending appropriate security controls as early as the design phase, rather than a very later phase where nothing much can be undone. Once the requirement is understood, the solution or system architect start building the design of the solution. There must be a constant dialogue between solution and security architects where each and every aspect of design is being reviewed and necessary recommendations are made. Because eventually, developers are going to use this design to build a fully functional application. So if your design is not secure, potentially your solution is not going to be secure either. Very similar to our structures. In our next video, we will learn some of the basics of various kinds of designs and how to interpret them. Let me know if you want to know anything specific around security architecture and I'll try to incorporate in my upcoming videos. Do subscribe to my channel for more content on security architecture. This is Prashant Mohan signing off. Peace out.